welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kayla here thank you all so much for clicking on today's video so as you can see from that title I bring you guys part two of my whole Christmas decorating series and today we are going to be tackling the kitchen and the dining room I'm really really excited about the kitchen and I think we're going to start off by first I'm going to show you guys everything that I have to decorate with second we're going to paint the door and then we're going to clean and start decorating so Speaking of door, these were the two colors that I was choosing in between. My whole like design for Christmas this year is a whimsical winter wonderland. So with that in mind, I was trying to choose a color that would go well with um, like the blue accents that I'm doing. So my main colors are pink, blue, white, red, and then like a whole bunch of snowflakes and stuff. So based off my last video where I asked you guys what color I should go with, you guys all said wave top and I agree. So wave top is the color that we are going for. Bye bye. This beautiful color, it's called maple glaze that we did for autumn and up goes wave top. So here we go. So earlier this week, I posted myself painting the door over on Instagram and someone in my comments asked me how many times has it been painted. And y'all, I feel like I've lost count, but one thing I can say is that it still looks really good. Like the door is not cakey, it's not sticky at all, and I feel like what really helps is using the foam roller and also this semi-gloss paint works wonders um i don't have any plans right now of like scraping all the paint or sanding it off but if it does get to that point in the future where like it just looks terrible i definitely will um, but for right now it works great the color goes on perfectly and as you guys can see like there is no need to even prime even though i'm going from like a dark color to a lighter color again those two coats are key and the foam roller is magical When decorating the kitchen, I don't know why, but for some reason I always start over here in this little nook. I guess it just kind of sets the tone for the rest of the space. I don't know. But right now, y'all, I'm trying to figure out which dish towel I should use. All of these are from Sweet Masonry. And I end up going with this one for now, but I'll switch it later on in the end. And you already know, I gotta add my mug tree and all my festive mugs over here. I feel like mugs are an easy and simple way to just add a little bit of festive cheer. And I will wait here by the candle like here's the love is all I need and my love I can guarantee so please Santa bring back my love tonight
Okay, y'all. So this Mrs. Meyer scent is so good. I really wanted to try other holiday ones. And this one is, I think, my favorite. It's called Snowdrop. And it kind of smells like perfume. I've never had a cleaning product like this before. And I wanted to add some little cookies over here that are actually fake from Michaels. It's like $4.99 for these gingerbread cookies. But they look super realistic. And um, I feel like a plate of cookies just makes the kitchen so much cozier. And underneath them, to make them even more cozy, I am going to add our knit pot holders from Sweet Masonry in the light pink colorway. I think that turned out super cute. And now we're moving on to the next area. opposite side of the scene I knew that I wanted to add back like the whole tiered tray situation and really display the nativity scene but outside of that I wasn't quite sure how this was gonna turn out but it looks super duper cute in the end the nativity scene and the deer are from sweet masonry and once everything was down I feel like it needed just a little bit more oomph so I added this fake snow that I got from the Dollar Tree and that really set it off Now that that whole scene over there is complete, I decided to go ahead and work on this area next to the stove. So I'm adding my little dish where I put all of my utensils and stuff. And this year I'm just going to use like all of my cute spatulas in here and then all my regular utensils like my whisk and my big spoons and ladles and stuff, I'm putting them underneath the cabinet. And then now I'm cleaning off my vent hood because it is filthy. And Marcus and I bought this really beautiful real wreath from the farmer's market and we I had already went ahead and put it up but I felt like it needed a little something extra so I tried my hand at the bows and I like the red one better and then we're gonna also add some lights just to make it shine a whole lot more Over here on this side, my goal was to keep it as simple as possible, but also add in a little festive cheer. With the door being right there, I didn't want to do too, too much, if you know what I mean. But I'm adding our beautiful marble tree cutting board from Sweet Masonry, our honey dipper, um, my oils back there, and then also the snowman measuring cuts, because these are the things that like I reach for commonly. Um, so yeah, I think they are going to live over here really nicely. And once that area is done, I'm also going to add my pot holder. I have some more. I've had this one, like this set for years. So it's just super nostalgic at this point. And I put that up over the hooks and also added a little dish towel next to it. Come on now, let's go. I know I said I was keeping it simple over here, but I felt like it was missing just a little something. So I added this jar full of those little gingerbread cookies from Michael's, the fake ones, and that just set it off over there. It looks so cute. But now we're moving to like the floating shelving area part of my kitchen. And over here, I'm gonna hang up some mugs, 
um, put some mugs on display, put up this beautiful garland, add some twinkle lights on it, and just make this area a little bit cozier. Wake up with a smile, the feeling is right today. Magic in the air, cause something is waiting for me. Oh, oh, oh. I've been good, but I can last. Hurry Christmas, hurry now. made it this far into the video shout out to you and I want to invite you to join my giveaway you guys I'm going to be giving away a $100 Amazon gift card to all my faithful and loyal subbies you guys have been super duper sweet checking in on me making sure everything's good and also just coming back every week to watch my latest uploads so to join the giveaway, all you have to do down below, don't even mention the words giveaway because it will get flagged. Um, and don't listen to the bots either. Like I will contact you on Instagram. But what you need to do in order to give in order to join the giveaway is just leave a regular comment down below. Again, do not mention the giveaway. And also leave your Instagram username in your comment because I will reach out to you through Instagram. I know that some of you may not have it, but please, if you could, if you want to enter the giveaway, just make an account and um, that way I can reach out to you because there's no way to private message here on YouTube. So that'll just make it so much easier for me for us to DM back and forth. Um, so again, if you want to enter, leave a regular comment with your Instagram name in it and then I will pick one of you by Sunday. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby. So to complete the styling over here, I felt like I was missing something in the corner. And previously, um, like for the fall season, I had like a little recipe over here and it looked super duper cute. But I don't know, for Christmas, I just wasn't feeling it. So I remember that I had this mailbox that I was actually saving for the entryway, but I don't think I'm gonna get to decorate the entryway anymore this Christmas season. I'm already so late just decorating the Christmas, I mean the kitchen, but whatever. So um, I'm putting it here and I think it turns out really cute. And then I wanted a way to display all of our cute, sweet masonry mugs. I feel like they needed to be out and about. And so I tried putting them on that tray, but it didn't work out. And then I put it on this cutting board. And I thought they turned out super cute along with our little spoon. So, yeah. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. So now we have trickled into the dining room and this is going to be the last area that we will be tackling within this video. My design over here, like when decorating the hutch, it hasn't changed too much from last year. I did add a few new items, but um, you guys let me know down in the comments how, if you like the way it turns out. and drink our chocolate by the fire cause all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy love and so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with But the 
Yeah, even watching this back, I am so obsessed with how the hut turned out. And just the whole house, like, it's so cute. The living room, the kitchen, it all flows so well. I was kind of scared to do the light blue color this year, like adding it in with the pinks and reds that I normally do. But I'm so happy that I did because it turned out gorgeous. I just love it so much. So now, y'all, we are going to go ahead and just clean off the dining room table but also decorate it and that's where we'll end off in today's video I kind of wanted to do something a little fancy over here but I had no idea what I was gonna do so y'all will see how it turns out and I think I think I like it I, it's growing on me I don't know yet but y'all let me know what you think <laughs> I've been happier than I have ever been it's safe to say that my love for you is true Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. This is actually my first time ever styling the dining room table with napkin rings. I have never done that before. And these napkin rings are from Sweet Masonry. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below. And I feel like it just turned out so cute. I'm like, where have I been? These are so gorgeous. So now I'm gonna start collecting them for every season <laughs> because I am obsessed. And so, as you can see, all I did was fold the napkin diagonally a few times and slid the napkin ring through and boom, done. So, so cute. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. When I said that I was unsure about the like the design of the dining room table, this is the part that I was talking about. I'm like, is the faux garland a little bit too much? I'm not sure, but I added all the ornaments on there to kind of mirror what we have going on on the fireplace. So y'all let me know if I should keep this design or just leave the two little trees there and call it a day. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will catch you in the next one. Stay tuned for my home holiday tour coming up soon. Bye guys.